We're going to run through an exercise where we create a dynamic state space model of a reactor. So in this case we have the feed and the outlet flow rate are both equal to 5 meters cubed per minute and the volume is going to be equal to 10 meters cubed. So these are all constants things that uh, might change in this case we'll just have the feed concentration change and we'll set the feed temperature to 300 Kelvin the initial concentration or the initial temperature that we're gonna have in the reactor is 305 Kelvin and the initial concentration is for feed and for the outlet um, We'll, I'll give that information to you as well uh, right down here. We have the initial uh, feed and temperature. Okay, we also have a reaction that occurs. We have reaction rate of A equals 0 0.5 times concentration. And then we have a heat of reaction as well. The reaction gives off about 10 joules per mole. Okay, if we plug this into our equations, right here, all of this information. Q divided by V, that's going to be equal to 0 0.5. I have 5 divided by 10. And I'll have that down here as well. Okay, and then uh, I'll have 0 0.5 times concentration of A, right here for reaction rate, and 0 0.5 times concentration of A. And that's going to be multiplied by 10 for the heat of reaction. So simplifying this, it's going to be equal to 0 0.5 times concentration of the feed minus 0 0.5 times concentration okay plus and actually this is going to be minus minus here okay it's going to be reacting and so it's going to be consuming a okay and then uh, we have for the second one we're going to have 0 0.5 times feed temperature minus 0 0.5 times the temperature plus 5 times concentration of A. Okay, let's get this into state space form. First of all, I like to put this into, I like to apply the linearization method and get it into deviation variable form. So here I'll just do the linearization this is a linear model, so we should have an exact representation. 0 0.5 times concentration of A. And I'll just put the prime there to indicate that it is a deviation from a nominal value. And I believe, let's see, I believe the initial concentration is 0 0.5. It's not 1. Okay, and then I'll have the temperature is going to be that minus the temperature not and that's going to be equal to 305 okay and this will be uh, 0 0.5 okay there's no temperature in the first one so I'll have 0 uh, times temperature minus uh, all right, this is going to be plus 0 0.5 times feed concentration and then I'll have the temperature equation and this is just going to be, um, you know, I have 5 times concentration. I'm just rearranging the variable so it'll be easier to put it into deviation variable form later. Or not deviation, but state space form. And then I'll have 0 times feed concentration. Okay, so here are my two equations. I'm going to put this into state space form now. Okay, and then, uh, so it's basically just put it into a matrix form with the A, B, C, and D values. Here's my A matrix, and that's just going to be concentration of A and temperature. Those are my two states. And then I'm going to have my concentration of the uh, feed concentration. So I'll put 0 0.5 there. And then this A matrix is going to be negative 0 0.5. 0, I'll make that a little bit more clear, okay, 5 and negative 0 
So this is my A matrix in state space form. This is going to be my B matrix. I'll put a zero there. It's going to be a vector. And then I just have my output, which is just going to be 1, 0, 0, 1, and times concentration of A times temperature plus 0 times feet concentration. Okay, this is just going to be an identity matrix right here of 2 by 2. And then my D is often just equal to zeros. And that's just going to be a 2 by, I guess that's going to be a 2 by 1. Okay, let's go ahead and plug this into our starting script and just see if we can get it to simulate. We're going to simulate this side with ODE int in Python. And we'll simulate this side with the SciPy signal package. We'll use the state space representation. So if you just come to the, this is the homework page right here. And we're just going to be filling in some of these values from the script, the non-zero values. And if you click show starting script, you'll be able to see the starting script right there. Just come down here to the get code link. And then, uh, and then what you want to do is just copy this and paste it into a Python script. Okay, document. So you can use any, you can use IPython, you can use Spider, um, any one that you want. Okay, and just go ahead and paste that in and save it. Okay, and I'll just go ahead and fill in these values now. Let's just go up to the appropriate spot. Here they are, the ones that are missing. So we're just going to be filling these in with the uh, I'll do negative 0 0.5, that's A00, and then A10, this is going to be the next row, that'll be 5, and this will be negative, zero, uh, negative 0 0.5. Okay, here's our B value, and that's going to be 0 0.5. Okay, I'll save it, and let's run it and see how we compare between the ODE int and the state space model. So it's going to run, it'll simulate for 10 minutes, and it looks like we have an error here. Okay, and so let me go back here and figure out what went wrong. Okay, I see it. Um, here I forgot to combine these two, so that should be equal to negative 1 right there. So have negative 0 0.5, and this should be equal to 1 right here. Okay, so let me go back and just correct that. Negative 1, and then let's try it again. Okay, so now I have perfect agreement between the two models, the state space and the ODE int, ODE int uh, solution to these. You can see that the blue and the red are on top of each other. So let's just say we want to change what input we're stepping. Um, let's just change this to, instead of CA feed here, we do temperature, uh, feed temperature. Okay, the bottom, these are going to remain the same. Right here, those are still going to be zero, but this matrix right here is going to change. Okay, if I look back at my equations, I had feed temperature right here in my second equation, but no feed temperature here in my first equation. So that's just going to change it to zero and 0 0.5. And let's say I had a feed temperature increase of 10. So this isn't asked in the problem, but let's just see if we can uh, simulate it. I'm going to have um, B00 is going to be equal to 0. And then the second row is going to be equal to 0 0.5. So I've just changed it for feed temperature now. Let me change the ODE int model as well. 
So this is going to be our feed temperature. Oh, and I forgot to step this up by 10. Okay, so whatever the output is, you can just change, you can just multiply by whatever the uh, output is. It's a nominally one. If I wanted to have it be a negative one, uh, 0 0.1 step, I had that in there before. Change this to 10 now. And then I add back in the nominal values. Okay, now I have my feed temperature as my input. Okay, that's the only one that I have. One input. And, okay, so now instead of feed temperature being fixed, I'm just going to have the feed concentration be fixed at one. And then I'll change that down below. Okay, so let's see. Here's my feed temperature. Okay, that's going to be feed temperature in Kelvin, and I'll not I'll start at uh, you know it starts at 300, but then I'll change that to 310. Okay, I'll change that to feed temperature. Okay, that's going to loop through and give it this input. I'll do feed temperature there for my input. And then I'll save feed temperature instead of feed concentration. Okay, and let's just do feed temperature there. And I'll change the label as well. Okay, and then I'll just change, just for plotting purposes, I change this just to show the step that starts at 300 and then goes to 310. So I'm just going to change the first element of that. Okay, let's simulate this now and see if we can simulate a step of 10 in the feed temperature. Okay, so you see that the feed temperature stepped up from 300 to 310 and the concentration stayed the same. Now, if you look back at the equations, you'll see that there's no dependence on reaction rate on the, by the temperature and so there's going to be no uh, change in the concentration. But you do see that the temperature of the outlet does trend up uh, to about 315, so there's about a 15 degree temperature change. And the time constant is about equal to Q divided by V. So it'll take about, um, let's see, about 0.5. Let's see what the time constant is. It, no, the time constant is going to be V divided by Q. So that's going to be equal to 2. It takes about two minutes to get 63% of the way there. Okay, so we had the uh, ODE int and the state space model, and we calculated that for steps in the feed concentration, a negative 0.1 step from 1 to 0.9 in the feed concentration, and then we also calculated a 10 degree increase in the feed temperature. And we simulated both of those with ODE Int and with uh, the SciPy signal package uh, using a state space representation.